In this video, we are going to do some net force problems and understanding that the net force is the force that you see and it's pretty much the sum of all the other forces acting on an object. We're going to differentiate between tension and normal force because, frankly, people tend to keep get them mixed up even though they're not even related to each other. So our first problem here is fairly straightforward. We have a man in an elevator. Our first step is to draw a diagram. So we've got our man standing in an elevator. Yes, he's a stick figure. And we label the forces that are on him. So we have the force of gravity pulling him down. And since he's standing somewhere, so he's touching a surface, we have the normal force pushing him up. Now here's a key phrase you want to look for. This phrase constant speed. Because if you're going at constant speed, are you speeding up or slowing down? No. So do you have an acceleration? No. And our net force is our mass times our acceleration. So if we have no acceleration, then our net force is also zero. And so what that tells us is when our net force is zero, that tells us our up forces cancel out our down forces, and they are equal. So in this case, our normal force is going to equal our gravitational force. And then we calculate our gravitational force, mass times gravity, because that's our weight. That's the weight of the guy. So it's 100 times 9.8. And so our normal force is just 980 newtons. Okay? We said that he in this problem he was going up. Does it matter if he's going up or going down? No, it does not matter. As long as you are going at constant speed, there's the phrase you want to look at, look for. Look for constant speed. As long as you're going at constant speed, it does not matter if that force is up or if your elevator is going up or if your elevator is going down. Your net force is going to be zero either way and your two forces are going to be equal to each other. It's not always that easy. Next situation. Slightly different situation. We want to know what the normal force on the man is if he's going up in his elevator at 2 meters per second squared. So our net force is the force that we see. So this acceleration we see is part of our net force. So our net force is the sum of our forces. Since our net force is in the upwards direction, since our acceleration is in the upward direction, that tells us that our normal force is larger than our gravitational force. So we're going to take our upwards normal force and we're going to subtract from it our downwards gravitational force. And we're going to subtract instead of adding because our two forces are in opposite directions opposite directions, opposite signs. So instead of adding, you're adding a negative, which is subtracting. So we're going to plug in our expressions for net force and gravitational force. Net force is mass times acceleration, and that's going to equal our normal force, which is what we're looking for, minus the gravitational force, which is mass times gravity, or the acceleration due to gravity. So the mass of our man is 100 times our acceleration, 2, is equal to our normal force minus 100 times acceleration due to gravity on Earth, because we're going to assume our, our elevators on Earth, and we're going to find that our normal force is 1180 newtons. So if our guy here was standing on a bathroom scale here, Bathroom scale basically measures your normal force. You can make it change. And so the bathroom scale would record this 1180 newtons of force. And he would appear, his apparent weight would be heavier than his actual weight. And you feel this when an elevator starts to go up. Don't you feel it pushing against the bottom of your feet even more? 
You know, kind of think of your, ex your own experience as you've gone up in an elevator. So does it matter if our elevator is going up or down? And the answer to that question is yes. Here is a similar problem with our elevator going down instead of up. So since it's going down, we know that our gravitational force has to be bigger than our normal force because it's going in the direction of the bigger force. So we're still going to write our net force equation, but our net force now is in the downward direction because that's the direction of our acceleration. And that's going to equal our downward force, which is going to be positive minus our upward force because it's going to be negative and so our net force is going to be equal to our gravitational minus our normal and so mass times acceleration is equal to mass times gravity minus our normal force so our mass was a hundred times two which is equal to one hundred times 9.8 minus our normal force and we find out that our normal force is 780 newtons. So if this guy was standing on a bathroom scale he would find that he weighed less than what he did and you kind of feel this when you go down in an elevator you feel like everything kind of ah, everything feels a little lighter because it didn't go down with the with the elevator at first and so that normal force was a little bit less here's another little thing is that if he was going down at free fall so let's say our elevator totally broke and it was free falling he would be accelerating at the same rate as gravity so there would be no normal force so he'd be basically weightless and that is Kind of what the vomit comet does. You'll have to, you'll have to go Google the vomit airplane. So, last thing we need to do is some tension force things. So, what about the whole elevator? So, a lot of times people just want to put normal force in everything, but this situation is a little bit different. What's the tension force of the cable when the hundred kilogram man is in the hundred thousand kilogram elevator going down? at two meters per second squared. So what's accelerating is this whole man and the elevator. So the total mass that's accelerating is 1100 kilograms, okay? Because the man and the elevator are being accelerated downwards. And our tension force is in this rope. So there's our tension force. But here there's no normal force because our elevator itself is not sitting on a surface. You need to be sitting on a surface in order to have a normal force. The gravitational force is the gravitational force of this whole mass. So of the whole 1100 kilograms here. So our net force is on this whole system, the man and the elevator. because our elevator is not touching the ground, so there's no normal force. And since we're accelerating downwards, our net force is downwards. So we're going to take our gravitational force, since it's also downwards, and subtract our tension force. Let's make that prettier. Subtract our tension force. And so mass times acceleration is equal to mass times gravity minus the tension force, 1100 times 2 is equal to 1100 times 9.8 minus the tension force. And so when we're done, we're going to get quite a bit of tension and it comes out to 8580 newtons. So the tension force is the force in the wire that's pulling up the whole elevator and guy. If he was going up, we would expect to have a bigger tension force because then the tension force would overcome the gravitational force. That should get you a start, and good luck, ladies. Have fun. See you tomorrow. Bye.